You know what these are. There's palm cakes. Our warship, TGIF. Reagan fired 13,000 striking Son, air traffic controllers. In 1981, he the called in military personnel every to test his aircraft's worry sin justice. Or, just as soon as she was in the air, she was in the air. 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 Is this a class project? Uh, yes. Yeah, we do not allow any videotaping in our store. Not in Borders? We've actually got a class project. We've got about four people walking around. Five people walking around. Uh, we introduced the idea of an anti travel guide. There's no videotaping. Don't press the wall when you just stop videotaping. Who is that dude? He's asking if anyone's involved by the Yeah, who cares? good luck getting the police here. They're having like a We're not asking protest. me for money, so that's what the police do. Yeah, of course. There once was a man from Nantucket. <laughs> There's no plan B. Yeah, I mean, my name is Alan Kaufman, by the way, and they sell my books. I'm an author, and they sell my books. I get kicked out of the bookstore. Aww. It's horrifying. <laughs> Did you ever sign any of them? Do a race? I've done book signings. This is a race here. As long as you make money, that's just a You're welcome. I know, like, Almost all of you We should come back next week. Oh, wait. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> That's a good one. A good one. Let's take that book and meet a little. Maybe you should do that. We could, yeah. I have a book. The funniest part is when Tom is like, we're celebrating no, borders. He's like, we're not, we're not owned by borders. We have two books. We have two books. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you want to read a poem. Anyone else have a book that we could borrow? I don't know. I do have three texts. I'll, I'll, I'll just read text from my dad. Wait, wait a second. Oh, are you kidding? I was just reading this. Yeah? I'm, I'm, re I'm at the part where he um, has left in Arizona. Are you with that part? No. Don't tell me anything. Where he meets Willem de Cooney. No, no, no. I only like 30 Jack Black's You're kind of a great writer. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Not joking. <laughs> the bomb. Good. I'm going to read a poem by Ashley Brim. Oh, yeah? It's called The Bible Says Really Sexy. The leading journal history teachers declare that hill grubbers, those opposed to have to speak out, for a long time neither spoke of it, pouring slowly, turning bad, festering, one night when he was drunk, gray hair is thinning slightly, come neatly in place, more than ten years ago, telephone lines, prides himself defying the breaking, let it run between the wrist. That is what they call hand-fucking the line. In time he moved from construction to an office. I feel like you're fucking with my head. I feel head-fucked, head-fucked, <laughs> verb, to confuse. 1978, page 211. Free nurses, head-fucker, noun, narcotics, mind-bender, head-fucker continued. These two children have left, gone home, born a month after the gas attack. I leave the house at 725. I'll be a part of that. Bravo! Good. This is fucking annoying. The guy who impregnated Adele had apparently been looking for her but didn't find her. Her belly swelled and receptacle her like you sit in a house of mourning. According to Wright's theory, the embryo's character is formed in the womb. So she sang its songs from Western. She went to see crime and action movies on 42nd Street, so it wouldn't hear only Mozart or jazz. Then she gave birth. She brought the baby boy back to the studio and we had a party in her honor. Jack Daniels was long gone. She put in a tin bath in the middle of the studio and said that the baby could do whatever he wanted because according to Wright, a baby should be free. So should a book. 
After about 18 months, he was already peeing, standing up in the bath, and in the other parts of the studio, and also on me. She continued visiting her right-hand therapist to hit her so she'd have more orgasms. After her 203rd orgasm, she took the boy and went to the Rockies so he could experience force and vigor. And she taught him the names of wildflower flowers because she loved flowers and understood them. And she began planning gardens. Great book. He's a great writer, by the way. Yoram Kanyuk, Israeli writer. Yeah. yeah. Great writer. Well, I do think that if you did this at the public library, it would probably go up to a better time. I can't do it at the public library. <laughs> okay. Okay. I can't do it there. No, and we shouldn't do it there. They're not culprits in anything. Well, no, no, no. To, no the idea yeah, would be to whisper through that cylindrical space. Yeah, I would do that. No, because they're so nice. They give up so oh, much free. I mean, that's a celebration. This place. <laughs> I mean, I would celebrate the library. I understand. I understand. But um, anyway, I unfortunately am doing this. Yeah, unfortunately. It didn't work out. I don't know, like the smaller camera. I have to say goodbye. Goodbye, you nice people. Hey. Yeah, I think so. It was very beautiful for the three minutes it happened. Really Can I see the book? Yes. Yeah, of course. It's pretty nice. Yeah. This is when it did work. So little. That's the opera book, yeah. I was going to do that one where I freak out, but maybe I shouldn't do that because then children will cry. Oh, Yeah. I guess you didn't have more computers. What happened? Can you explain? Can you stand there and explain what happened? Well, it started, and we started reading our books and walking around. We weren't even reading that loudly. It was me and Lisa. And all of a sudden, it was like everywhere I turned, there was a Borders employee right there, right on top of me. And I just kept like bouncing off of them. <laughs> and we kept trying to walk away from them, and they just kept like forcing us into the center and then and then it just kind of stopped. <laughs> That's what happened. Thanks, babe. <laughs> I don't have to change anything you say, by the way. You know. No. Fuck you. I wonder why you thought it was okay to take a whole bunch of people from a mountain and lose their jobs. We were trying to make it's, well, it's not about it that. Was about it, being, cool. it was about being playful. It, was it wasn't meant playful. To be, it, it wasn't, wasn't meant playful. To be cool. It wasn't playful. And why are you being had a whole bunch with us? We had a whole bunch of customers came up and complained to us, and we had to deal with that too. On top of that, well, well, maybe if it wouldn't, if you guys would have handled it better, maybe they we maybe really don't want. Yeah, it's it's gonna, you know, it's nothing to do with us, man. Awesome. Yeah. I would just been up in that bitch's face if I was drunk. Well, that was another reason. She didn't. She didn't even try to understand it. She just immediately it wanted to stop. There wasn't time, by the way, for enough people to come up and complain. And the amount of time that we were actually reaching, there wasn't time. It lasted for like three minutes. Also, yeah. their store is going out of business. They've <laughs> obviously been doing something else wrong. This is not. Well, I mean, it's, well, it's a huge. Yeah, yeah, it's not them. It's a huge company. They're all. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's not these people. <laughs> it has nothing to do with why this is failing. No, no, no. Those are crazy. That was my own point. That we asked. You thought that we asked this. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Me neither. I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. I'm not arguing, I'm just saying I don't want to get a call here. Steve, you just look like such a call. Yeah, I'd arrest you. Why are you on arrest me? I would arrest you too. Dangerous. Teenage Mutant Turtle. There you go. I'm no fool. Do you think it was successful? I mean, it was successful in some ways. Like, we've learned something. Really? I mean, there's nothing wrong with doing public 
art, writing, reading you know, at all. But I, I guess people are nervous about it. Really, that's the thing. Yeah. For, no, and this is a cultural problem. You know, the fact that, like, I didn't know what I was How do you spell it? G U E R R I L L A. <laughs> and it, you also spell it by not saying it because yeah, you don't show up. That's how you don't spell it. That's a great point. Because that they thought maybe you would actually lie. What actually happened up there when they when they came up to you three when you guys continued reading? There was some sort of a confrontation concerning like. You know, asking why we could not read, and they said that we were disturbing people in the store. And then Les and Alan asked if anyone was disturbed, and like two people raised their hands, and one of them took off her earphones and said she wanted to kick us in the face. Oh, so, nice. Uh, yeah. But then what happened when he asked who was? Sorry. People raised their hand when he asked. I failed. Yeah, I raised my hand. Wait, people did? Really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I love it. That's cool. That's awesome. Yeah. Most of them were us. Yeah. A few non people. That was like, what are we raising our hands for? Oh. Yeah, Stephen's weird. But they they didn't call the cops because on him. They called him because we were reading in a bookstore. That one cop called me a wise guy. Yeah. Because I wanted to pick up on girls. Isn't that funny? I'm like, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go find some girls. He's like, what are you, a wise guy? And I'm all like, uh, it's no. You but you were talking back to him. Was I? Yeah. I thought, I thought I was find, trying to find common ground. And you never looked him in the eye. I did. Was, no, I looked right at his like teeth. Like this? His teeth. You were like, you were like, look at him like this. Like this. I'm going to pick up girls. Don't worry about it. That's pretty much what you said. Is that what it was? What it was? Yeah, you were. Did I say don't worry about it? I don't think I said don't worry about it. No, I said, I didn't. So maybe somebody I said, like, I went like this. I went like this. I'm like, it's time for me to go pick up girls. That's what I said. Hey, can I ask a serious yeah. question? And he was all like, uh, hey, don't be a wise guy. And I'm like, yeah. Can you, what are you guys' impressions of what just happened? What just went down? Uh, uh, <laughs> I know you're sorry. <laughs> I thought, I thought the uh, I think if you do our us and you edit it, that would be perfect. I thought it would be I thought it would be totally acceptable to uh, read out loud in there, even all of us. I thought like I for sure thought I would walk in, everybody would be reading, and it would just be like like I thought the people were gonna join in and stuff. I thought everybody would be okay with it. I mean, like 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 how else do you sell a good book other than reading out of it? You know, like I thought they'd be totally okay with it personally. I didn't. Well, I got two phone numbers, so I did all right. I met a tall, blonde Jewish girl and uh, a tranny. Even for the last so, time, I'm not a tranny. All right, and, and Daniel. I met Danny. 